I came here in 1957. I spent four of the most beautiful years of my life in this school. A lot of kids were afraid to come to school. No, that wasn't it. I didn't want to go home. I wanted to stay here. In fact, I stayed here, and many times the bus didn't come, and we had to walk home. And you didn't mind it. It was five miles, you know. Bishop Egan's in my heart. Commonwealth Egan is in my heart. Uh, it's just a wonderful place. I grew up right across the street in Holly Hill. Uh, I was one of those kids that would show up for workouts at, you know, 7 o'clock in the morning and stay after for, it was called gym night practice then. I was captain of the blue team. I was captain of the gray team. Um, I would get home at 10 o'clock at night. I remember, because you couldn't buy T-shirts, back dying T-shirts at midnight in a laundromat with about five guys so that we could have the right color shirts. I, I look back on all that stuff. I can't tell you how much it means to me. It's formulated me as who I am as a person. I hope that we can do for our students and our players what this place did for me. You know, our, our school was located next to a garbage dump. So in 1968, 69, when Bishop Egan was built in Fairless Hills, it was a brand new school, monastery, beautiful, building pool for the priests and the brothers. <laughs> And we were stuck with the school next to the garbage dump. <laughs> so <laughs> it's a man's world. <laughs> but we still love it. We made it, it work. <laughs> we with made the it work. smell and all. Biology, I can I mean, still on, smell that smell. On warmer smell. days, you have to shut the windows. It was really <laughs> when Bishop Egan was opened, right, it was, it was here to support, you know, the, the explosion of Levittown and Lower Bucks County, right? And so you had all these Catholics who were now post-war were buying these homes in Levittown and uh, this new community was sprouting up. And so the population got so big that it could support two Catholic high schools relatively within a relatively close distance of one another. Fast forward to 1993, the population in general is shrinking. The demographics were changing in Lower Bucks County. Our Catholic parents were not having six and seven kids, they were having two. When you look at it from a numbers perspective, the population could then only support one Catholic high school. In 93, uh, they announced that Bishop Conwell and Bishop Egan would combine. We would be called Conwell Egan Catholic High School, and the new building would be in the Bishop Egan Boys Building. And so we all ran out to the back and we rang the bell and uh, the day that we opened, I was the weather watcher that day. And they, they broadcast live from the building. What I said was, it's a rainy day outside but the, it's sunny inside the halls of Conwell League and Catholic for our first day and everybody was waving outside of the windows. That was the first day we opened as Conwell League and Catholic. So how did we feel when it closed? Yeah. It, it was sad to lose yeah. that all girl thing. And I think that's something that people are, are beginning to see differently. Like before it was, Commonwealth felt ostracized. They felt like there was yeah, not, like, this school opened and boom, that school, you know, Commonwealth got knocked down. But now I done. feel like people are, are starting to see the inclusiveness now that, okay, yeah, this, what, this might not be the same building that we were in, but it's the same mm -hmm. spirit. But it's not a building, you know. We didn't lose our building. We didn't lose our traditions. The loyalty and the courage and, and the integrity that was taught at Bishop Egan continues here today at Common Egan. Everything was joint, right? And all of a sudden we became this co-ed institution and there were so many of us that were so committed to it, right? The girls and the boys. The place was packed with people. I mean, think about this building with 1,400 students. Mm -hmm. Think about what a spirit night was like then. Literally the walls shook. It was a pretty incredible time to be here. Yeah.